or break deal. You got a pen? I stocked up on pens today. Yes, I get it. Council meeting of November 7th, 2022 at 7 p.m. in the council chambers. Uh, I will explain that if we have a tornado, we go to the basement. And I think you all know it's down by Sarah's office, the door to the basement. And then if it would be a fire, of course, we would all go out the exits as quickly as possible and orderly. The old school teacher had to throw that in there, orderly. <laughs> So anyway, uh, this is a reminder that the video, the meetings are being videotaped, and so it's very important that everybody speaks directly into the microphone when speaking. Uh, let's have roll call of the aldermen. Miss Jenny. Alderman Hazel. Here. Alderman Whitaker. Here. Alderwoman Duco. Here. Alderwoman Aris. Alderman Randall. Here. Alderman Ferguson. Here. Alderman Anthony. Here. Alderman Ovian. Here. Alderman Dittleman. Here. Alderwoman Schaefer. Here. Alderwoman Steele. Here. Alderman Rothweiler, Alderman Elmore, Here. Alderman Wygon, Here. Alderwoman Sullivan, Here. Alderwoman Ostoff, Here. Eris and Rothweiler are excused. Okay. A roll call of the department head. City Treasurer Bierman. Present. City Attorney Horner. Present. Police Chief Matt Icecamp. Here. Interim Fire Chief Rick Wanglin. Here. Finance Director Jamie Matrit. Here. Director of Public Works Jason Poole. Here. Director of Wastewater Randy Smith. Here. Director of Library Leander Spearman. Here. Assistant Director of IT Ty Buckner. Here. City Engineer Sal Elcott. Here. Director of Health, Housing, Building, Scott Tyler. Here. Director of Economic Development, Planning, Zoning, Cliff Cross. Present. Director of Human Resources, William Clay. Present. Director of Communications and PR, Kathy Kaiser. Kathy is excused. Okay, thank you. Let's all stand for the pledge. No public hearing this evening, but do we have anyone here for public participation? You have two to three minutes per person. Anyone for public participation? Okay. Hearing none, I'd like to call forward the representatives from Racial Harmony, and we will be making a proclamation Recognizing Racial Harmony's 30th anniversary. <clears throat> Okay, well, this is a wonderful day, 30 years of people working together so that everyone can be recognized for their full worth and not just by the color of their skin. So we are so thrilled to be able to give this proclamation tonight in honor of your 30 years of hard work. Proclamation, whereas Racial Harmony is a third-party neutral organization 
dedicated to promoting understanding, cooperation, and communication among all races and ethnic groups, and whereas founded in 1992 by a group of interested citizens, racial harmony has been an integral part of our community, and whereas Racial harmony strives to effectively communicate the meaning and benefit of ethnic and racial harmony and to promote and initiate strategies for increasing racial and ethnic understanding. And whereas, racial harmony partners with community organizations that share similar missions, visions, and goals. And whereas, racial harmony has community partnerships that include schools, churches, government, parents, law enforcement, and cities to improve the quality of education for all area students. And whereas today, the city of Belleville celebrates the founding of Racial Harmony as they celebrate their 30th anniversary. Now therefore I, Patty Gregory, mayor of the city of Belleville, Illinois, do hereby recognize and celebrate Racial Harmony on their 30th anniversary. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Belleville to be affixed the seventh day of November, 2022. Let's give a big round of applause. Thank you so much. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've been doing all these years. And who's going to take this? Okay. See you later, friend. Mayor. recognize the character word of the month, which is peace, meaning working and living in harmony with each other. It's a wonderful day to do the proclamation, especially when the character word of the month is peace. We now need a motion to reappoint Jamisha Laws to serve a two-year term on the Human Relations Commission. Paper, so moved. Second. Steele. Any discussion? Roll call. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Now we need a motion to approve City Council meeting minutes of October 17th, 2022. Schaefer, so moved. Second? Steele? Oh, yeah. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Now, claims, payroll, and disbursements. <clears throat> I need a motion to approve claims and disbursements in the amount of $2,691,268.24, payroll in the amount of $92,654.62, for October 21st, 2022, and $1,964,881.97 oh, 881 for November 4th, 2022. I need a motion. Anthony. What, what occurs second? Uh, discuss, uh, second. Anthony. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, roll call. Or discussion. Does anyone have any questions? 
Jamie, would you like to explain what the two million? Turn the microphone back on, Jamie. So the, the one payroll amount is quite a bit larger than the other because that includes the uh, fire department union back pay that was settled a couple months ago. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, any more discussion? Damn. Hearing none, roll call. Whitaker. Aye. Duco. Aye. Randall. Aye. Ferguson. Aye. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Dentleman. Aye. Schaefer. Aye. Steele. Aye. Elmore. Aye. Wygant. Aye. Sullivan. Aye. Ostoff. Aye. Hazel. Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. I need a motion to approve the treasurer's report of September 2022 and the statement of cash and investment reports of September 2022. Schaefer, so moved. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, 10B. Motion to approve city attorney report dated November 3rd, 2022. Thank you. Schaefer, so moved. Second. Gentlemen, second. Thank you. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Oh, now we will have oral reports from standing committees special committees, and any other oral reports from the elected officials or staff. Uh, Mr. Elmore, could you give us the motion from traffic, please? Yes, uh, 11A1, motion to approve a handicapped parking location at first meter of northwest corner of East Main Street and North Church Street. So approved. Second. Schaefer. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Now, motion from administration. Jenny? Does anybody care if I read all of these together? No. Okay. I'm sorry, Jenny, yep. please separate 11B1. So read them separately, please. Okay. Motion to purchase 6905 West Main Street, parcel 0712021205 from St. Clair County Trustee. In the amount of seven ninety five for possible demolition or development agreement. Okay. Uh, Randall, so moved. Okay, did you get those, Jenny? I just got one Schaefer oh, motion. Okay. okay, any discussion? Yeah, please. Yes. Hey, um, has this gone through legal? Are we getting this property for the purpose of demolition? Or um, is this just for the possibility of demolition? or a, a development agreement because my concern here is that we should not be in the real estate business and we shouldn't be buying up properties just for the purpose of a possible development agreement we are actually buying it for demolition but in the meantime we had a party interested possibly in it so i put both on there since i don't know where it's going to end up has this gone through legal for us to obtain the property for who, who go is county that, that's why now? we buy this so we don't have to go through the court system this costs us seven hundred ninety five dollars instead of seven thousand dollars to take it through the court system we are getting ready to start the court um, with correct me if I'm wrong Scott with Lloyd and then this came on the rolls with the county trustee so that's why we called them as soon as we know that it gets on their property we call them right away to save money yeah, I would just caution us on purchasing property and selling property for. Well, that office. that is definitely not the intent, exactly. but I didn't want anybody to be surprised I like it. I if that happened because we did get somebody who said they were interested. Now, whether or not they really are, I don't know. And in comparison, this has been going on for years with buying property, uh, and for seven hundred and ninety-five dollars oh, off the tax rolls. And you know, that was one thing that I I've bought discussed. 20 properties this year alone for this through the county trustee for demolition. But they will be, they're up for demolition. We're just waiting through the court system to, to get those done. We have the money set aside for the demos. Okay. Okay. I got a question. Yes. What about uh, the property itself? Uh, is there any asbestos? So we're asking until we own it. We don't know that. You, we won't I know do that, the survey but I'm saying until... when you sell it, is it up to the 
buyer, if, we, if he so chooses, to purchase it to go ahead and pay for that? Or will it that, be That's on between the him and, and the EPA, but normally if you don't disturb the asbestos, you're not required to remove it. It's required to be removed upon demolition or if you disturb it. So say if it's the siding and you don't touch the siding or you encapsulate it, that's usually sufficient for the EPA. They don't necessarily say that you have to do anything unless it's disturbed. Well, I understand what you're saying, but okay. he will have to pay for it or whoever the, if somebody wants to buy it, it's on them, I mean, not the city. If a development agreement is entered into, that would all be part of that discussion, but I mean, at Maybe this point, Cliff should be at this point, this. we don't know what, we're buying this for demolition. Okay. Somebody was interested, so I thought we should disclose that there might be an interested party. Do you want Cliff to explain it? No. There's okay. nothing to explain. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you both. Okay, let's go on. Okay. You ready for roll call? Are you guys still? Okay. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Obian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Upstate. Whitaker? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you. Next one. Motion to approve the committees and commissions calendar for 2023. Whitaker, so moved. Ferguson. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. So the motion carries. 11B3, motion to approve administration to provide a letter of support for Heartland Conservancy's application for the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Forest Service Landscape Scale Restoration Competitive Process. Schaefer, so moved. Ferguson. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Motion carries. 11C, Mr. Randall, would you like to read the motions from Economic Development and thank Annexation <coughs> Committee? Yes, thank you, Mayor. Uh, folks, can I read them together or do you want them separate? Together. Together, fine. 11C1, motion to approve the acceptance of the Bell City Fitness Collaboration, BCFC, request for proposal agreement for 407 East Lincoln. And 11C2, Motion to approve the request for proposal enter into a contract to utilize the services of Hickey Global to complete the development of the citywide economic development strategy plan, strategic plan, so moved. Schaefer, second. Okay, any discussion? Yes. I have a question for 11C1. We may not be at the stage yet. Are we waiting on a site plan? I was just curious, is the parking lot if we've made an agreement yet on how many parking spaces? Cliff, turn the microphone on. Sure. Just leave it on. You got it on the top? Yeah, how often I do that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, Penny. So if, throughout the process of working on 407 Lincoln, it was clarified that this is for the acquisition of the building only and not the parking lot. So the parking requirements will have to meet the uh, requirements of the zoning ordinance, which in downtown you can ask, use public parking. So it does meet the parking requirements, and this only includes the building only. Yes. Will we be making an agreement with the property owner for use of parking spaces or will, will we be selling part of that parking lot for the We use will of not space? sell the parking lot. That was not the intent. The, there will not be reserved parking spaces as part of this agreement. So it's first come, first serve. But the beauty of the model of Ms. Powell's plan is it's really a perfect scenario for a shared parking ratio because most of her business is in the morning and later in the afternoons when downtown businesses will not be utilizing that. So it actually is a perfect model for a shared parking type of ratio, which is exactly why we didn't want to forfeit the parking lot, so to speak. Right. Yeah. Uh, we want to keep that parking lot under the control of the city. And, and uh, she may have some things that she does out there, but she can't obstruct any of the uh, uh, available parking spaces to the public. And, and that was the intent of the structure of the agreement. And Cliff, would you like to verify uh, 
that this building is not being given away, it is being paid for. So throughout the process of this and the other building when we started the RFP process, I've seen it done different ways. How do, how do you best repurpose or reutilize city buildings that are basically a black hole in the middle of an area? And, and how do you anchor a, a neighborhood? So there was some initial thoughts, do you just RFP it and then you provide the building to the respondent who then rehabs it and uses it. But throughout the discussions, I think the committee and the city felt like to be fiscally responsible to the citizens of the community, we couldn't simply give away the building. So what we de developed was a formula. And the formula is really a credit as opposed to entering into a development agreement and providing supplemental funding to a rehab. So what this credit basically did is we estimated the newly generated taxes based on the improvements at a 20% 20, 20 increase, and then we determined what the potential appraised value would be, and then it was, uh, it was reduced to one-third of that, which is what the county does for taxes. That's how they generate their assessment number, and then they attach the multiplier to it. We took the projected multiplier of 11.5%, which in a sense, in this case, equaled an approximate, I believe it was like a $5,000 a year tax bill that we could generate each year after it gets back on the tax rolls. What we then did was give her a seven-year credit. She's got a five-year commitment, but we gave her a seven-year commitment because of the two years that it would potentially take to rehab the building, get it back on the tax roll. Long story short, basically what that gave us was roughly, I think it was something like a 40, 35, 36,000 dollar credit that we then applied or took off of what the current assessment value was of roughly 120,000. So the acquisition cost then becomes approximately $80,000 of her initial commitment. The logic behind doing that is if you pay full price for that building based on what it appra or appraises for today, I do not know if anybody could put in the improvement value to get a development down in that area that would sustain that neighborhood and stabilize that neighborhood. So the logic was to provide her the upfront equity to do those improvements, create a development that stabilizes that area and now becomes an anchor for that neighborhood uh, area there. And that was the logic behind it. And the city, really, it's really no more risk than if we did a, a, a development agreement where we gave them 40 or 50,000 in addition to whatever they had for a building they already own. So actually there's, in my opinion, and, I, and members of the committee may feel different, but I felt like they agreed, it's less risk for the city because we still have the equity of the building on the callback if we need to. And if for some reason she defaulted, then she just pays what the price was that we would have asked for it based on our appraisal anyway. So we felt like it was a good model and I think the committee felt like it was a model we'd look at in the future for all of our city buildings as we start to move forward with that process. Any more questions? <coughs> Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. Okay. Anything else for the two motions? I mean, for the two uh, motions that are on the floor? Hearing none, let's do a roll call. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dillman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. Now, we have motions from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, Jenny, would you like to go ahead and proceed? Together, separate? Together. Together. 11D1, 48 October 22, Victoria Martin requests for a special use permit to operate an Airbnb at 1641 North Charles Street, 08150419028, located in the A1 single family residence district, applicable sections of the zoning code 162.094 and 162.515, Word 1, Zoning Board of Appeals recommended approval in the name of the applicant only, with all members present voting 4 to 0. 11D2, 49 October 22, City of Bubble Zoning Code Amendment. Request for amendments of Title 15 land usage of the revised ordinances of the City of Belleville, Illinois. Sections 162.006, definitions 162.168, permitted uses. 162.233, special uses. 
162.247 permitted uses, 162.263 special uses, and 162.277 permitted uses. Zoning Board of Appeals recommended approval with all members present voting four to zero. Okay. Motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, now, Alderman Randall, would you proceed with motion from Streets and Grades? Thank you, Mayor. On behalf of the Streets and Grades Committee, uh, 11E1, a motion to approve an agreement with Illinois Public Works Mutual Aid Network, IPWMAN, for disaster services as needed, so moved. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, communications. Jenny? Together? Sure. Together. 12A Got Bolt Skateboard Contest 520-2023 request from the Main Street Beat to change the date of their skateboard contest to Saturday, May 20th, 2023. 12B St. Augustine's Parish Picnic 923-2023 request from St. Augustine's of Canterbury Church to host their parish picnic Saturday, September 23rd, 2023, 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. Additional request picnic tables and trash toters. Okay. Motion. Schaefer. Second. Okay, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Tonight we have no petitions and no resolutions. Um, now, ordinances. I need a motion to read by title only ordinances 9094, 9096, and 9097. Randall, so moved. Second? Schaefer. Thank you. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Jenny? Together, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 15A, Ordinance 9094-2022, and Ordinance Amending Article 7, Traffic <coughs> Code, Chapter 76, Parking Schedules of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Belleville, Illinois, is amended by amending portions of sections thereof. 15B, Ordinance 9096-2022, a zoning ordinance in regards to case number 48, October 22, Victoria Martin. 15C, Ordinance 1997-2022, a zoning ordinance in regards to case number 49, October 22, City of Belleville Zoning Code Amendment. Okay. Any, uh, this Any, I need a motion. A motion. Schaefer. And second. Randall. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Anthony. Aye. Ovian. Aye. Dittleman. Aye. Schaefer. Aye. Steele. Aye. Elmore, Aye. Wygon, Aye. Sullivan, Aye. Ostoff, Aye. Hazel, Aye. Whitaker, Aye. Duco, Aye. Randall, Aye. Ferguson. Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have no unfinished business this evening. Under miscellaneous and new business, I need a motion to approve the motor, motor fuel claims in the amount of $17,801.11. Thank you. Any discussion? Okay, roll call. Ovian? Aye. Dentleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygon? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay. Um, we will be going, I need a motion to go into executive session. Before we do, I'd like to bring up something under new business. Okay. Uh, we have a, a situation right now where we've got five tablets that the housing department has where we have not been able to get anybody trained to use them. Under that GIS program that we signed at $10,000 per year with TWN for the first three years for support and program, does that include the training of the, the housing people or do we have to go outside? We will ask training? Mr. Tyler, the housing director. I'm sorry? We'll ask Mr. Tyler, he's right here. Okay. that Pete was brought for that. Um, Mr. Markovich told us that he was going to have us trained on that before he left, and I had numerous discussions with him. 
And then the final week he was here, I called him and he was on vacation. So I, I know Ty's familiar with it. It's the same software that the police department uses, but he's just so busy right now. I mean, if he could sit down and work with me with it, and then I could show the housing, uh, other housing inspectors how to use it. Um, but that's where we're at. S uh, Scott said he had everything downloaded into the software, all the forms that they would use, and it would just be a matter of training me to begin with, and then I could show these guys one by one how to use it. But right now, I, ha I don't have any uh, software in there, any of the paperwork that we needed, uh, any of the forms that we filled out. And like I said, I don't even know where Ty is with that. Nothing. Yeah. Um, so that was when Scott Markovich said he was leaving, I specifically called him and asked him about that. And he said, we'll take care of it. And then I got down to a week left, and then um, he was on vacation. I will tell you, we do have, uh, we have been advertising for IT, and we have several very good candidates that have applied. It's still open right now, and when that closes, we will start our, uh, our interviewing people. I've got a recommendation. Prior to doing that, why don't we basically look at the cost of bringing someone in like CompuType? We have already a, have been contacted by the CompuType people. Okay. It would be a benefit to the city because we wouldn't have to pay benefits as opposed to hiring somebody at the present time. Until we can get this on board and get these people trained so they can use what we're paying for but not utilizing. That's the key right there. Well, we have already been con uh, contacted by CompuType, and that is one thing we will be discussing. And we will be discussing it soon, Mr. Ovian. Okay. okay. Uh, any more things? I would like to invite all of you uh, this Friday, coming Friday, we will be having at 11 o'clock uh, the Veterans Ceremony. Uh, it will... You're invited to come to City Hall uh, before the ceremony at 11, where we will be having some refreshments with fresh fruit and coffee and donuts and things like that. And then afterwards, after the ceremony, which will be in the quadrant where the Veterans Memorial is, we will be having um, this, the wonderful ceremony Colonel Collins from the 932nd will be our guest speaker that day, the commander of the 932nd. Uh, we also will be having some other special guests there. And afterwards, I want to thank Cardinal Buick, who is providing uh, carry-out lunches for the veterans. And so they're all boxed. They'll be all boxed and ready to go. But I thought it was very wonderful that they they donated those <coughs> lunches for the veterans that may be attending the ceremony. So I'd like to thank them also. Okay, I believe now uh, we So you need to finish motion. reading the, We need to re finish reading why we're going okay. into executive session. So we have a motion to go into executive session to discuss the uh, pending and or probable imminent litigation, including civil and workers' compensation. 5 ILCS 120 slash 2 C 11. I need a motion. Schaefer. Okay. Any discussion? Roll call. Nope. Pass for oh. all. All in favor. I'm all in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Um, so, Chief Icecant and Jason, if you want to stay. Jamie, I don't know if you want to stay for work comp. You ready? Done? Okay, I already started the recording. Okay, I'm gonna do the workers' comp together if you guys are okay with that. Mm -hmm. A motion um, on workers' compensation settlement with Nicholas Potts in the amount of $8,467.75 and Claudia Gallegos in the amount of $12,043.05. Okay. Randall. Schaefer. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Schaefer? Aye. Steele? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. 
Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Okay. And now a motion to read by title only, Ordinance 9095. Schaefer, so moved. Second? Good move. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? 18C, Ordinance 9095-2022, an ordinance amending Title III, Administration, Chapter 33, Public Safety, Law Enforcement, Section 33.103, Application Procedure, the Revised Code of Ordinances of the City of Belleville, Illinois. Schaefer, so moved. Good. Good. Okay. Second, oh, we have it. Discussion? Roll call? Steele? Aye. Elmore? Aye. Wygant? Aye. Sullivan? Aye. Ostoff? Aye. Hazel? Aye. Whitaker? Aye. Duco? Aye. Randall? Aye. Ferguson? Aye. Anthony? Aye. Ovian? Aye. Dittleman? Aye. Schaefer? Aye. Motion carries, Mayor. Thank you very much. Now we need a motion to adjourn. Steele, so moved. Schaefer. Any discussion? <laughs> I hope to see some of you on Friday at 11 o'clock. If you have the opportunity, I think it would be really great if we had a nice crowd there. Thank you so much, and thank you for a good meeting. <laughs>